Hey everybody, how's it going here? Sorry. Um, it's been a very long time since I've actually recorded anything. Um, one reason is actually kind of because I've had a couple of issues concerning school. Um, but hopefully they should... Thanks. Hopefully they should all be solved before long. Um, yeah. That's kind of all I'm going to say about that, because, well, whatever. Anyway, so, last episode, we got the Pegasus Boots, and we can go to Caster Wilds. I just want to do something quickly first. I forget if I've actually already done this before in a recording. At, at, yeah, I just don't remember, really. Um... There's just a heart piece I want to see if I can try to or try and get. Sorry, I can't talk at all recently. It's just a shortcut to the bottom. I'd like to, however, get to the top. So let's see here. Still don't have it. Alright, I'm gonna have to remember. That, that's where one of the kinstone pieces is. Or where I need to fuse a kinstone in order to get a heart piece. Anyway. So I guess then that means that we're off to Caster Wilds then. Seeing as I can't get another Kinstone fusion at this time. So Close, actually. Oh well. So, if I can even remember how to get down there, then it'll be all good and fine. Ugh. Can I even get through here? I forget. Oh, I can. Not done that yet? Oh my goodness. And I can bomb that wall. Fairy fountain! I already have a fairy in a bottle, so that's kind of pointless right now. Oh well. Anyway, let's keep going. Ow! I'm going to remember how to get there. I'm going to remember how to get there. Hold on. Let's just check this out first. And you don't want a few skin spots. Okay. <sighs> alright, alright. Give me a second. Just look at the map. Over there. Okay. Oh, I see. Okay. Alright. Let's go. There we go. Ha. Huh. Ha. Huh. Okay. 
So, now that we have the Pegasus Boots, and we also got that new skill if you remember, um, you have the sword and the Pegasus Boots equipped, you can run with the boots out, or with your sword outstretched, well, like sprinting across, and you can also run across this marsh. If you want to call it a marsh, I don't know. Anyway, so now that we're across, we can actually explore this area, which is kind of what this whole episode, or what last episode was leading up to, and I just never uploaded that, or, sorry, I haven't been uploading anything at all recently. Huh. Alright. So, let's kind of, let's take a look. Let's go down here. Oh yeah, and ropes. They're actually called ropes, but they're really snakes, I guess. If you want to take it in that way, I, I don't know. Um, yeah, new enemy. And we got trapped. So, Guardian is protecting the treasure. Take oral fighting it. Okay, so... Guardians are kind of interesting. You fight them over the span of the game, and... Normally what they'll do is they'll attack you now. They'll attack you, and that usually leaves them open, so try to defend and just dodge them, I guess? And then you can kind of move around their arm. A gold one. That's nice. You can just kind of move around their arm, really. Um, and then just kind of slash them from, well, from what I did in the video, I guess. You can kind of see what I was up to. Um, that's pretty much how to fight those guys. There isn't really much else to say. Um. Let's see. What's up here? Let's go this way. Link does not turn diagonally when playing, or when walking, I guess. He just walks diagonally. He doesn't care. Alright, so this statue is kind of strange, but they kind of make interesting appearances appearances in all the games. Um, you can only take them out with an arrow. Now, I don't have the bow yet, so firing an arrow at this guy is kind of out of the question, because, well, I don't have a bow. Or arrows, for that matter. I mean... So... Ow. I just paused the game as I got hit. They hide pretty well under those bridges, I guess. I was already here. I feel as though I'm missing something. Very important, and I more than likely am. Oh, crap. Alright. Let's just keep exploring. I can't go there. Sorry, if, if you heard that, the, the door just, the front door just opened, my sister just came home, so. What am I missing? There's something going on here, I don't, I, I don't know. So. <laughs> Can't figure this out. I will. Just give it time, it'll come back to me. Well. That was... <sighs> oh my god. Honestly. Honestly, it was right there. Right there. Uh, well, I told you I'd figure it out. It took, took me a little while. Come on. What the heck? 
There we go. Sorry. I don't know what happened. My computer's been kind of weird lately. Oh, hey. How's it going? Get out of here. We don't like you. That's supposed to be a one-hit kill. Yeah, whatever. And, what do we get? The bow! Yay! Now we can get past those eyeball enemies. And... Ugh. I hate doing this. It takes so long. I mean, it's kind of pointless to charge the gust jar to move distance, because by the time you finish charging it, it's, it's like with these small gusts, you've pretty much already covered that area, so I mean... Yeah, it's kind of pointless. Anyway, so now that we've got the bow, we can actually do stuff. No, no, come on. There we go. We can go places with this bow. So, let's see here. Alright. Let's do this. You don't stand a chance. You don't stand a chance! Oh, I missed. Ha! Ah, ha! Ah, take that! He had nothing on me. Alright, what's up here? Oh, look at that! Another one! Another one! Awesome! that a quick access and let's go ahead and take care of the other eyeball guy that's hanging out over here somewhere there he is eyeballs tend to be the weaknesses of a lot of Zelda enemies or just randomly placed gems on their forehead We got five arrows, store them in your quiver. Alright. Let's keep going. And there's a chest with a kinstone piece. And two rupee likes that steal your rupees the longer that you hang in there. They just... Yeah, you get them all back if you can kill them, but... Pretty much they just pretend to be rupees, and then when you pick them up, they just, they ensnare you and they kill you. Well, no, they don't kill you, they just steal one of your rupees. Which really sucks. Because that's just rude. You don't steal a man's rupees. Ah. Alright, now... This is kind of an interesting area because this is where you go to get the final hidden skill. But you can't. The true master swordsman. Seems you're not yet ready to train with me. Come back when you have all seven tiger scrolls. Anyway. But, the main reason why I came here now is because of this heart piece, so... Yeah. That's that out of the way. And uh, let's go this way, and that way, and... Here. And we just exploded that with my... Sorry. I blew that up with my mind. It's not funny anymore because I just ruined the moment. I tend to do that a lot, apparently because I can't speak. Run! Ow. 
All right, so that's dealt with. Let's see. Ah, there we go. You can use this. I can come around to here. I'll close this off. And we just get another chest. And a root. Ah, three gold kinstone pieces. Are they actually gold or... Yeah, they are. What do you know? Oh, right, I remember what you need them for. Okay. I was thinking, I don't remember anyone ever using gold kinstone pieces. But, you'll see why in a minute. Anyway, so what you have to do is you, in order to continue on, you actually need to fuse the gold kinstone pieces with these guys. So it kind of confused me for a while there, but I remember now. Do I even have all three gold kinstone pieces? Yes, I do. Awesome. So that's... Caster Wilds out of the way for now, I guess. Or I might go back and grab something in a second, maybe. If there is anything else, I don't even remember at this point. This is bad. But whatever. So now that that's open, um... Yeah, at this point, I, I don't know what else there is to do in Caster Wilds, so I'm just gonna kind of... I'm going to pause the video here, and then I'm just going to do a quick run around uh, just to see whether or not there is anything. And if there is, then I will come back. But if not, then I'll see you back here in a minute. All right, so I couldn't find anything. Um, I'm sorry if I actually did miss something. Um, if you notice I missed something, just post in the comments, and I'll get back to it. Anyway, so we're at the Wind Ruins area at this point now. And... Those guys there are jerks, because you can't kill them, and if you touch them, then they'll just go crazy. Well, you can kill them, I guess, never mind. But they do just go crazy, and unless you're able to get them trapped, it's going to be kind of difficult for you to not get hurt. So, that's that. Um... Um, but, you know what, in fact, sometimes the only way to get through here is to turn these guys on and then lure them out. And if you notice, by the, uh, or on the shield, there's like a little, there are a couple of ridges, I guess, and you can use those to climb inside of them, and then you just, um, turn it on, and, yeah, that, that guy kind of explains to you. Um, hold on. Did I pick up the kinstone piece I needed? No, I didn't. Whatever. Be that way. Thanks, game. Anyway, so you just slash it with your sword and it turns on. And it's just... Because apparently flame has electronic abilities. But, whatever. Whatever makes you happy, game. Anyway, so take care of them. I'm just checking. Oh, hey. How's it going? Fine. that to quick and easy access. Get out of here. I feel as though there's supposed to be something here, but... Oh well. Figure it out at some point. Maybe it's a kin stone piece or something. Bring the chest there. And set. I don't know. So that's that. That brings us up here, which means we're almost at the next dungeon. Right. 
There's a little bit of a maze that we need to go through here. I could have just made it a little bit easier on myself, but hey, I like challenges. Turn that guy on. Back here. Excuse me. Thank you. I love being Minish. You're so small, you just escape from everything. Anyway. So. Brings us over here. We can attack this guy. Hold on. Just give me one second. Sorry about that. There was a little bit of confusion going on in the house. Anyway. Uh, fine. Running scared, eh? Okay. There we go. That's that out of the way. Go down here. Uh, oh. Thanks. Okay. So in order to get through this part, you actually have to shut that one off, or even all of them, if you have to. Otherwise he just goes and just blocks everything. And you know, I'll just shut them all off, just in case. Just speed that up. Okay. Now that they're all off, we can... Continue on our journey, our merry journey. Feels as though there should be something under these stones, just because they're so precariously placed. Yep, there we go. Hey, how's it going? I called your bluff rock. You don't scare me. Oh, so those disappear. The enemies are gone. Okay, give me a second. Hold on. Uh. Okay, let's turn that one off. Come on, there we go. Okay. So there's one. Oh, Kinstone Beast. Thank you. Yay, there we go. That makes a lot of sense, actually. Alright. 100 rupees. Can I even carry anymore? 50 Mashiro shells. How many rupees can I carry? I forget. Take a look. Um, oh, it doesn't say. Well, fine, then. No. Thank you. Okay, that's that. Let's keep going. I skipped a heart. Oh well. And we're here at the Wind Temple. Oh, Fortress of Wind, sorry. And I guess we'll cover that on the next episode. So until then, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.